This American film actor also multitasks as a producer, composer and production manager. He rose to fame in the 1970s, praised for his range and sensitivity. His blonde rugged looks helped viewers connect even more easily to his powerful performances. Born John Young's in Old Bethpage, New York, Savage attended the American Academy of Performing Arts. The Long Island Boy debuted on Broadway in the chorus of Fiddler on the Roof. He ended up playing one of the sons, after another actor fell sick. During this production, managers Stuart Cohen and Rudy Altobelli discovered Savage. Between 1972 and 1975, Savage did a number of films, a TV show and spent three years doing theater in Chicago, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and Dance on a Country Grave. He subsequently moved to Los Angeles to star in Eric with Patricia Neal and Mark Hamill, and then was cast by director Ulu Grossbird to play Bobby in the original production of David Mamet's American Buffalo. Savage first made a major splash with The Deer Hunter, 1978, winner of the 1970 Best Picture Oscar. The film's impact on Hollywood and America remains enormous. Director Michael Cimino cast him as Stephen, who returns from Vietnam missing his legs. The following year, this actor enjoyed leads in two more big pictures the film adaptation of Joseph Wamba's The Onion Field 1979 and Milos Forman's Musical Hair. 1979. Savage played the corn-fed recruit, Claude Hooper Bukowski, who turns on, tunes in and drops out. Critics and film historians celebrated his performance, both then and now. In fact, John Willis' Screen World hailed him as one of the 12 promising new actors of 1979, Volume 31. In another major role, Savage appeared as the suicide survivor in Richard Donner's Inside Moves, 1980. Sensitive and moving, this feel-good film delivers a powerful message about overcoming adversity. He was nominated for Best Actor Foreign for his work in The Amateur, 1981. He went on to co-star in Maria's Lovers, 1984, with Nastasia Kinski, backed by cinema legend Robert Mitchum. Later films include Oliver Stone's Salvador, 1986, and Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather, Part 3, 1990, in place of Robert Duvall, who refused to appear due to a salary dispute. During the late 80s, Savage threw his star power behind the anti-apartheid struggle in South Africa. He continues to work despite his activism, including guest appearances in The X-Files Star Trek, Voyager 1995, Dark Angel 2000, and various Law and Amp, Order episodes. He first collaborated with director Spike Lee as the bike-riding gentrifier in Do the Right Thing 1989, and then shifted to the camera's other side for Malcolm X 1992, and Summer of Sam 1999. He also had a brief, but powerful, role in Terence Malick's war epic, The Thin Red Line 1998, married twice, first to artist Susan Youngs and later to South African TV star Sandy Schultz, Savage as the father of ceramic artist Lachlan Youngs and actress, singer, songwriter Jennifer Youngs.